Today will be all about wellness from within, starting off with a very small, very small Walmart haul to kickstart this wellness journey that I am embarking on, as well as a mask and some other things that I've got going on this morning. If this is something you'd like to watch, join me. Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mary. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Well, today is Wellness Wednesday, so happy Wellness Wednesday, everyone. And I do have a mask going, and I have had it on for a little while because I did some exfoliating, and I did the exfoliating with Kate Somerville, and it's the Exfoliate. This is a two-minute exfoliator. Absolutely love it. It has been my go-to exfoliator for almost two years. I love it. I don't do it every single week, but I do do it as long, as often as my skin uh, requires it. So I was going to jump in with a mask that I love to do with my Kate Somerville and found that I don't have enough for that particular application. So didn't happen. So look out for empties with that particular product. Now the mask that I have on, which I will be taking off, is the hyaluronic and collagen anti-aging face mask it's a moisturizing wrinkle reducing rejuvenating mask and it's by azure and this mask feels amazing it was completely soaked but it is starting to dry so i am going to be removing it like i said i got caught up doing other things and so i'm going to go ahead and remove this and ah, there we go much better and it does have a lot of serum so that is what i am going to be applying just soaking it in especially on the forehead for some reason the forehead for me is one that dries out the least quickly so i do have a lot of serum there um, i'm going to allow that to soak in so i'll do my the rest of my skincare afterwards but I'm going to talk to you guys about changes that are coming for wellness for me. I am embarking on a new journey. And this journey is actually something that I have been contemplating for probably two years. Uh, but I've had other things that I've tried in between and have not been successful with. And I did analyze everything, why I'm not successful. I have been doing a lot of my own um, self self-looking I can't think of the word but I know there's a word my self-analyzing I have been self-analyzing everything that I've been doing and why I've been failing and I know to some people these are going to be excuses however the reality of life is not all of us have the power strength and determination that everyone has well with me my lack of strength comes from my stresses. I am a stress eater. I have been a stress eater since I was little. Um, and that help has me reaching, not necessarily for all the healthy stuff. I wish it did, but it does not. It leads me towards the chips, anything salty and fatty. That is what my comfort food is. It's not the candy. It's not the chocolate. It's not the ice cream. For me, it has to do with chips and things like things like that that are still not healthy for me. Well, this journey I made the decision to follow because I have a lady that I have been following on Facebook and so many people in this town know her and know about her and I've been able to get a lot of information uh, based on her posts and everything that she's done. And I've been following her for almost three years. It's been well over two years. She has maintained her weight ever since her and her husband and the things that she posts and the things that um, brought to my attention is that 
it is a lifestyle change. It's not necessarily a diet and you're not going to be going out and you have to cook this meal or you have to cook that meal. Because to me, I don't have a lot of time to do a lot of the second guessing. I don't have to do my own homework because the homework has been done for me. And to some of you, it may be cheating or not. I'm not sure. But some of the meals, I'm not going to be preparing myself. And for me, that is the biggest, biggest help. Because I don't have time to do that. And at work, when I do happen to be at work, I do cooking, do some cooking and the temptation to eat what I have been preparing is there. It's always been there and more times than not it has to do with I'm hungry by the time I get there. That is just me and my ways of doing things. Well, this program is going to have me eating every few hours. Um, it's a six meal program and it is destined to teach me little by little how to get there. However, the first month is utilizing and getting everything going to detoxify your body get all of your cravings out and for me more times than not it's about two weeks that I go through detoxification every time I start a new journey and that's just to get all of the cravings out and once those cravings are out nine times out of ten I can extend the journey um, my problem is when I start going into double shifts and I start going into other things that keep me from being able to prepare my foods when I need to, to get my grocery shopping the way I need to, sets me up for failure. And that's just something that's happened time and again. Uh, I know for some of you, those are just excuses, but the reality of life is not everyone has the willpower that others have. And that is where people fail to... they. They want to be like the other person and you can't. You have to base it on you. This particular program um, had so many questions asked of me. It is specifically based for my triggers. What triggers me to eat? What are my problems with eating? What foods do I reach for? Uh, what are my goals? What are my determinations? Why am I doing this? And I think that's where it clicked into me. Why? Why am I doing this? Because more times than not, every time I embarked on this was because I want to lose weight. And because I want to lose weight. Because I want to lose weight. And that was my main drive to do a program to lose weight. Because I wanted to lose weight. After having that question asked and after being asked to consider it and think about it and analyze it, and I did... I had so many other questions that came out of that. And the main one was, I'm not doing this to lose weight this time. I'm doing this this time because I don't want to be on medication. I had a talk with my mom recently on her health. And I'm just going to put it out there. My mother is healthier than my sisters and I put together. She takes cholesterol medication, and that is it. That woman eats whatever she wants, and she takes cholesterol medication. But every time the doctor tells her that she's prone to this or prone to that, she makes her changes and she sticks to it. I don't have that kind of willpower. I wish I did, but I don't. And I'm hoping that by having a coach, because this program does have coaches available for me, to talk to, someone I can reach out to, someone that will understand where I'm coming from and be able to help me through this journey. And I think that's key because every other time I have been so self-determined to make it on my own that I fail to reach out to people and I fail to ask for help. I'm asking for help this time. And I am going to reach out to everyone who has said that they are going to be available for me to be able to reach out. And that is what the difference in all of this is. I'm not doing it alone. And I'm not doing it for the simple reason of losing weight. I don't want to be on medication. And my physical is coming up. And the last time that I saw the doctor, she did tell me that if my results did not improve, I was going to be put on medication. 
um, it came up that I was pre-diabetic, but a lot of that and my blood pressure was a little elevated. However, she did mention I had just come out of a trauma because I had just had that freak accident with my truck, if some of y'all remember. Uh, and so tensions were high and anxieties were high. So a lot of it had to do with that. However, she did say she's going to give me that particular time to be able to fix everything through diet. And I have tried and tried and tried and failed every single time because I'm determined to do it on my own. Well, I'm not doing it on my own. I'm doing it with a coach and with you all by my side as well, because I am putting myself out here. I am being in a position or I'm placing myself in a very, very vulnerable, highly vulnerable position because as you all saw, I did do a body video. I don't even do body pictures. I know that's not for me. Well, this time it's different. This time it's not because I just want to lose the weight. This time it is because I want to get healthy because I don't want to be on 20 different medications because we all know you start taking one medication which is going to affect something else. So then you have to take a medication to cover that and another medication to cover the side effects of that medication. Next thing you know, you've got 20 different medications. I'm not fixing to go down that road. I really am not. I have been fortunate enough and thankful enough to God that he has kept me this healthy this far in my life. So he has been placed at the front line of all of this new adventure that I'm coming to because prayer is what helped me make my decision. I put it all in his hands. So all of this is in his hands. My wellness from within, you all know, started with my spiritual wellness and now I'm moving it into my health and wellness. So that is where I'm going with this. I will post weekly updates. I will do everything in my power to document every single thing that happens throughout the day so that I can track and make sure that I'm not falling off the wagon and I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing and I am reaching out to people that I need to reach out to. So that said, I'm going to do a little haul and I know I did it all backwards. The hauls usually come at the beginning. Well, this one's coming at the end. I did a small little haul at Walmart because I needed a few items and I did, I did have self-control when it came to the spending. So I have this, this has nothing to do with the wellness thing going on. Sort of. This was $4 guys. Um, $34.99 is the regular price. It is a UV fresh mini disinfectant UVC light sanitize your belongings to avoid the flu and other infections. So I had to pick it up. Then I had a scale that I need for my journey and it's the health meter, the doctor scale, weight tracking digital scale, and it measures up to 350 pounds in 0 0.2 pound increments and it tracks up to the last two weigh-ins. I know some of you are going to say, but everyone is supposed to have a scale at home. Well, I don't. And I will explain once I show you the next item in here. And the next one in here is a food scale. I've never used a food scale. I've never accurately measured anything that I eat. I just eat it. And... That partly has to do with me eyeing the food and saying, okay, that's a good portion. I'm going to eat it. This time I'm being held accountable to having to measure my food. And I'm also doing the measurement uh, type tracking. So measuring the arms, the waist, uh, the hips, the legs, you name it, what we need to measure in order to be able to keep track of that. Let's go ahead and get back to the scale. Um, with the scale, that is something that I do not completely 100% follow. And the reason I don't follow the scale to, to determine if I'm losing weight or not is because I hit the gym. Once my energy level starts picking up, the gym is what comes to mind and I hit the gym. Um, in the intro, some of you may see me hitting a speed bag. Well, I was a boxing coach 
for many, many years when my children were little. Um, my youngest son was a Golden Glove champ for several years, kept his title the whole time he did it uh, with the amateur boxing. And that is just something that I absolutely love to do. That's where the speed bag came to be. And I know a lot of you had so many questions on the speed bag and we want to see the information on the speed bag. Boxing is a stress relief because you're hitting something that is not another person and getting some of that energy out. I highly, highly recommend trying to get into some kind of routine that way and seeing if that will help relieve stress because it, uh, it does help me. It helps me reduce stress. I love the speed bag. The speed bag is my go-to thing when I go to the gym. A lot of the younger kids come up and they're like, how are you hitting it so fast? It's years of practice. And I thought I had lost that practice um, because I had not touched a speed bag in many, many, many years. And when I hit the bag two years ago for the first time again, or a little over two years, I picked it up fairly quickly again. I'm not as fast as I used to be, but I'm going to definitely practice to get there because the speed bag is my favorite of all the boxing stuff. That is my favorite. So with that comes muscle gain. Uh, so we all know muscle weighs more than fat. That's where the measurements come into play. Measure yourself rather than your weight because nine times out of 10, the same person that goes to the gym wearing a size eight versus a person that wears a size eight and doesn't go to the gym. The person that goes to the gym may weigh 20, 30, sometimes 40 pounds more than the person that does not work out. That is the difference in the weight scale. Weight to me is not as important as measurement. And that's where my journey has always been. I just don't follow up with the rest that falls in between that particular keeping weight and measurement at bay. I've always just done measurement. Therefore, I did not have a scale. <laughs> the last time my scale went out, I did not replace it. So I'm replacing it now. This is my journey. Weekly updates is what you guys will be getting. And pray for me, guys, because I'm going to need every prayer that I can get. I am intending to take control of my health and wellness once again. I need it. And that is all that I've got for you guys for this Wellness Wednesday. Thank you all for joining me and I hope to see you all every single Wednesday. If you have any questions, any suggestions, any comments, leave them down below in the comments section. I'll be more than happy to respond to anything and I'll be more than happy to answer any additional questions if you're completely serious about embarking on a journey similar to mine. I can give you more information if you want it. You can DM me on IG or you can send me an email. Either way, I will respond to you. You don't have to do it publicly here if you don't want to, but I will definitely look into responding to everyone as soon as I'm able to. And that said, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. I will see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay blessed, smile always.